This is the Pre-Shift Podcast with Frank, Liz, and Jones, giving you a triple shot of unfiltered industry truth. Now we're official, official, official. Uh, yeah, fucking Back to the Future is amazing. Amazing. I mean, it's good. It's a good movie. I just don't remember the songs and the soundtrack and every single it, word to it. It means you've never seen the, If you cannot you never think live. of the the soundtrack you've ever seen. Yeah, you've never lived. It's oh. unforgettable. All right. Then I forgot it. Then I've never lived it. Shit, it's good. Great, hey, great. I'm not that lucky. Uh, <laughs> God. What's today? November 13th. It's November. <laughs> it's November. Almost turkey day. I do love me some Thanksgiving. I, lo- I don't love me Thanksgiving because it's trash. I mean, I like, I like football and food. Yeah, like the whole pilgrims and Indians got along. That's that was a lie. That's a lie. But whatever. Well, we did, we did, and then then we got well, I mean, smallpox. Pretty much all holidays are a lie. And yes, then, yeah. I agree. I thank you, Jones. I one thousand percent agree. I absolutely. I hate ho- God. <laughs> I don't want to. So I don't want to be You're that so guy. I don't want to be that, that guy. guy. But it's just you like, oh God. Guy. All right, I got to spend some money. What I got to spend it on? Just say yeah, that. I'd, honestly, I'd rather do that. Though. Just come out and you say, "Hey, man, me, yeah, you, you got to come out and spend some money." Yeah, All right, that's just well, say that's that. why I like Thanksgiving over Christmas because at least I don't have to buy people. Yeah, things. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I think we're too old to celebrate Christmas. Can we just have dinner? Yes. Yeah, I don't exactly. think. Like, yes, I don't. I am on board with that. Let's stop. Like, yes. Here's the thing. It used to be like you could surprise someone. Now you know what everybody's into, and it's just all right. You, you want something? Get on Amazon. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah exactly. and I don't want whatever Frank wants to buy me because most likely it's not what I want. Like you don't want to spend the money and I don't want it. So let's just not do yeah, it. Yeah. So let's yeah. like, can we just have to talk? Yeah. I, I honestly, <laughs> I think that's great. And it, that would be the, yeah. but like, I don't, who still celebrates Christmas? No. Nah, Kids, I Christians? guess. Christians? <laughs> Kids? I, I guess, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Yeah. I mean, I like the family aspect. I like that. That's that's gonna be the sad part in like twenty years. Nobody's gonna be doing shit. We're all just gonna be living in pods alone. You know that's gonna be weird, or great, or in <laughs> or in Liz's case, amazing. It, yeah. <laughs> like, anyway. yeah, I don't know. Yeah. All I know is <sighs> it's F one week, and so I I could not be happier. And more <laughs> just fucking over it. Over it. Do you have to work during the races? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Jones. I got to work during the race. He takes a break. <laughs> and see Vegas and the race cars going around knowing that you're working. Yeah, knowing I'm yeah. at work in the middle of hell. Yes. <laughs> knowing that you won't be able to leave work for a very long time. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm not going to leave work for like three days. Yeah, well, you can't. Did you get a hotel room? Uh, I'm thinking about it. All the room yeah. prices are dropping. Yeah. Oh, they're dropping? Oh, a shit ton. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, this is... My buddy texted me, and he's like, Formula One's actually not that expensive anymore. Like, no, dude. You can get a three-day pass for less than $1,000. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, you can get a room at the Rio. I was looking into it for, like, three days yeah, for, three like, hours. 400 bucks. Mm. You yeah, are you gonna walk to work? Yeah, you're gonna try to trek it to work. You can usually yeah. get a room at the Rio for thirty five dollars a night, man. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, but what are you gonna do? True. But I'm saying it's not like it's not like crazy, crazy yeah. prices. They're, everything's down, like they said, like eighty percent or some oh, shit okay. like that. That's not terrible yeah. then. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Well, hopefully, yeah. it kind of like finds a happy medium. Like this is the first one. Hopefully, next one, it's they're not trying to do ten thousand dollars a night at the Cosmo. Yeah, that's that was absurd. That yeah. was a yeah. They got to plan it out a little better. I think they got a little a little eager, like ooh. Mm-hmm. Oh, like absolutely. Yeah, like my owner doing a cover for St. Patrick's Day. It's like let's do fifty dollars. Yeah, well, it's like mm-hmm. no, hey, let's charge him five hundred dollars. No, it'd be like yeah, let's charge him five hundred dollars. They're gonna I'll come. It's like no, I'll yeah, I, I won't. I'll watch it on TV. And the race doesn't mean anything. Is the is the thing too? Is the race? The it's already been decided. All the titles and everything. I guess in real life. Yeah, in so real life, won. huh? Who won the title? Uh, I'm not, I'm not sure. So I know why are they racing? Because they got to finish the season. But they already know who won. It's like NASCAR. If somebody, do you, do you know which which car won? Uh, you know what? I'll look it up. 
Let's so then see. what's the, what's literally the point? I'll just not go to, to work. make a bunch of money. Well, Liz, what the point is? They already built the track and they closed. Yeah, down exactly. Well, that, you can't, yeah, you can't that, cancel it. But, uh, Actually, we're not going to race this race today. <laughs> but what if they race <laughs> another person? Wins? All this misery for nothing. Yeah. Well, you you guys seem <laughs> like a lot of people. <laughs> I'm chilling. Here, let's see. Uh, Max Verstappen. Congratulations to Max. <laughs> what, I, what car does he drive? Uh, he I think it's Red Bull. Red Bull Honda. Congrats. Congrats to Max. Very exciting stuff. Though. Yes. Yes. So congrats to him. But I think it's been done for like a couple of weeks. So, oh, you know, that's funny. Uh, whatever. I'm trying to be optimistic at this point. Everybody come and get drunk and maybe watch a crash. Who knows? I don't know. Do you you have have I don't think that's optimistic. Huh? Are you going to a race on any of the days? Oh hell no! I don't, I don't, Why not? Because I don't expand care. Expand your horizon. I don't get expand your horizon. Hey, you went and saw you two at the sphere. Go see. Go see a race car go two hundred <laughs> miles per hour down the street. How maybe they, maybe they'll ask me to drive. Hey, if they ask me to drive, then man, maybe I'll do it. Uh, yeah, dude, no. you're not fitting in the little cockpit. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Come on, man. I don't think I would fit in that little cockpit. <laughs> well, how you got? They're not like jockeys. No, they're very right? small. They're very small. They? It's so tight, they have to take the steering wheel out to get in. Are racers that small? No, they are tiny. Well, they're athletic. They're they're athletes. They're yeah, I'm, I, I'm not saying they're not in good shape, but are they like, what are they like? Are they, they like? They're, they're, there's no Frank Alvarado's right. <laughs> <laughs> you damn right there's not. <laughs> you damn right. Let's see. Uh, here. Although I would, I would be interested to see you get in an F one car and rate and like drive it and see if it actually because those cars are so light. Like if it would actually <laughs> that flip, was you know, affect the yeah. the car. How big is the average? That was really funny. Good for you. F- for the weight, F one average weight of uh, F one racer. Let's see here. How big is the average F one driver? Uh, the tallest is one hundred and eighty six centimeters. Let me do some math here. What does that mean? What yeah. does that mean? <laughs> that mean? Oh, that's like what? 15 this, this feet tall. This is a- <laughs> one. Six one. Yeah, yeah. He's fucking 13 feet tall. Yeah, six one. Yeah, so not that's that a small. Tall, that's I'm not talking tallest. about height there, bud. You're not a tall guy. I'm talking uh, about you, son of a bitch. <laughs> you Come know, on, man. You know I'm under you're, tall. You're clearly not the sharp and cool. You know either. I'm under tall, Jones. That's it. I'm under tall. <laughs> I have to I said, wasn't it. saying you're too, you're too <laughs> tall. Right? <laughs> you stink, height wasn't the issue. You stinking bastard. Oh, have that's you ever great. Seen them to get in like this. Yeah, I've never really watched. I guess I've never really thought about it. Yeah. Well, good for those guys. Between 150 yeah, and 175 pounds. Ah, 6'1", 170? That's not small. Wait a second. One of the heaviest drivers. Yeah, like, who's the heaviest? 170? Was, Who, who's my favorite driver? Was Tiny Lund at 270 pounds. Yeah! But was, who knows what happened to him. When did he race? Lund, he's probably... I don't, I don't I, know I, all I, this. I don't, I'm just reading to you what, what's coming up. I, I guarantee it was like in the 70s. Yeah, I think that's <laughs> I old. Know. I think that's the 70s. Well, when you're called Tiny, yeah. I'm pretty See? sure. See? 270, Jones. Yeah, 270. I got that beat tiny easy. Can we hot. start calling you Tiny? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Back uh, in the dirty tea, you went by Tiny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see Tiny behind the bar. <laughs> yeah. God, good mm. times. All right. Well, that, he's my favorite driver now. So, yeah, Frank so Lord there you go. Too tall to get an F1 car. Yeah, too tall. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Uh, Yeah, man. So, yeah, it's just, I'm ready for it to be over. It just looks, it looks weird. It looks weird. The stands look weird, you know? Mm. All the lights look kind of weird. I, I think it's going to look it. cool. I hope it looks mm, cool. Yeah. I hope all this shit wasn't for nothing. You know what I'm saying? I hope it's a success. I'm trying to be positive here. Yeah. You know, but it, it, you it doesn't affect me. Success, they're going to want to keep doing it. Yeah, that's fine. It'll get easy. I mean, dude, what do you do? It's money, right? It's money. What are we all? What are we all working for? It, you know, it doesn't affect me in any type. It of way. It does. 
Stop no. it. <laughs> we need to keep the economy strong. Uh, all right. Yes. Oh, there Vote you go. For Frank. All right, Vote F1. For Frank. You see that? Is that <laughs> what you think you'd hear? Ah, uh, but yeah. So yeah, Jones, you think about coming out, man? No, I can't. Not if I'm coming out next week. Oh yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah, oh. baby. Oh. Little little pre shift uh little pre shift uh uh, little round table. Yeah, little uh, hockey game action. We had a little hockey game action this weekend. Yeah, I think I'm bad luck. Are you? Yeah. I think you're great luck. Go to more. <laughs> the more Vegas night games list. Oh, I don't, yeah. Uh, God, yeah, this was great. Time I could root for the Kings. And you guys, the Kings won that game. Oh, too, yeah, right? we or, whooped their ass. It was great. You know what is one of the best feelings, Jones? And you'll understand this. When you, as the road team or the underdog, goes on the road and gets the win, and it's decisive, oh, that feels good. Mm-hmm. Oh, that feels great. It feels great. Oh, that feels great. You know what it would be? It would be like, how do I put this in Liz terms? How would she get this? It would be like. I get it. No, I get it. No, I get no, it. No, you know I get it. it. No, I get it. No, here's what I'm saying. It, it said chicks not into sports, right? It would be like if you showed up to a party at the girl's house you hate and you're just getting all the attention. Why would I even go? Uh, because you would go. <laughs> I know what if I, I, you I, get, I understand the concept. The you know what I'm saying? I understand the concept. That's I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying, I'm trying I don't to. Think pass got, I don't think she gets. Gets the <laughs> I get it, guys. I get yeah. it. Yeah. Opposing team wins. I yes, get it. It was fun. I get it. I yeah. get it. It was yeah. great. I don't know. I think I. I don't do again. I don't. How do did you sports. like it? It was cool. Like it was. Your first hockey game. Yeah. Wow. I don't. I don't. Do, it was. It was okay. It was fun. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. I mean, yeah, it's cool. It's a little there. Um, <laughs> the nights. Entry is a little corny. Oh, yeah, it's corn it's balls. Like the it, it's a corn balls. Bro, everybody just so soaks lame. it up. It's so nerdy. They don't even have a, go- a nice chant going. It's the worst LARPing I've ever seen yeah, in my it's life. It's pretty bad. It's just cringeworthy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it makes me I feel super weird. cringe. I was like, where is my turkey leg? Yeah, it's like, are we at Excalibur right now? Yeah, are we at, oh, yeah. Nice which, game. Which, which one are we at? Yeah, so it was, it was cringy, but. <laughs> All in all, it was fun. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, what are you going to do? Nothing and you crazy. know what? Making friends. No. You know, that's another underrated part. Are you kidding? I made an enemy. You made an enemy. <laughs> I made an enemy. Do tell. <laughs> Nothing. I was in line for the bathroom, and I was taking a picture of the garbage can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And this lady was like, will you hurry up? And I was like, bro, there's like eight people in front of me. Yeah. There's a little garbage can of space. Where do you want me to go? You want me to stand next to the garbage? Yeah. I was like, what do you want me to do? I'm not going to stand right in front of the garbage, you weirdo. And she just started How yelling at me. I don't know, like 80. No, she was, 80? Probably, not, she was probably like 45. You're going to beat up some 80 I wasn't going to beat lady? her up. I was just scared. I was like, why are you yelling at me? Where do you want me to go physically? And then she's just like, Sometimes Bleh. I feel like Liz has these experiences in life, but they're just made up in her head. <laughs> you know, Maybe. I said that. You, you might be what? right, she's, Jones. I think she's about She's just it. standing in line. Like, the lady's just, lady just standing there. Because she thinks someone's yelling at her. <laughs> and she's just yelling at the wall. I, I, she's yelling at a broom. I know. I was really. She's yelling at a, a, a like a mop that's I, like yeah, upside down. I said this to you. I was like, if a lot of, if I was by myself with in a lot of these pl- situations, people would think that it's just me. And I like it when other people get to share my misery with me. I'm share like, this your is misery. A, yeah, I like it. I'm like, look, look at this. Look at what's going on right now. God, okay. I, I yeah. mean, I get it. I don't know. I had a good time. I made a couple friends. I ate popcorn, had some drinks. Okay, nice. Were yeah. there a lot of uh, King fans there? No, no, there was like a handful. You. It, was it was so you. great. Oh, <laughs> it was yeah. just you wearing a Knights jersey. <laughs> yeah. No, hell no. You're out of your damn mind. No, it was cool, man. It was good times, you know? It's fun. It's a it's a place where you can go to where you can be the opposing fan, and it's, like, not that bad. No one cares. You know, like, people are going to talk shit, but it's like, yeah, it's like they're half joking. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, yeah. you make friends, you make a couple bets. Yeah, yeah, it was- it's not like going and seeing a Raiders game or... Niners yeah, game. no, you're not gonna get well, sucker punched at a night. Nice yeah, well, I did. You know? I did go to that Raiders game. Oh, that's right. I went to that Giants Raiders game. God, the Giants are fucking terrible. Yeah, they are. Um, I'm telling you, I went to that. They lost. You went, went to onesie. To, yeah, I like that. I, I, they lost. 
I was going. I wasn't going for the Jets, but a few people that we knew from New York came in to watch the Jets. Yeah. Did you go to the Jets? Game? No, they were gonna lose if I went, but they lost anyway. Yeah, they so lost anyway. I'm just they telling suck. you, anyone that I go that I root for is going to lose. So I'm just not another reason for me not to watch sports. I'm right there with you, Luke. All my Arizona <laughs> team is terrible, except for college. Apparently, now college are really good at everything. I don't, I don't know. Who cares? That. I don't care about college. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Tomatoes Basketball tomorrow. team's number three. Football team's number nineteen. Three, four wins in a row. Man. I don't, I don't know. Have we been alive when that's happened? <laughs> no, Four never. I don't think we've lived through that, Jones. Congratulations, First man. time in program history, three wins in a row against ranked teams. It's crazy stuff. Congratulations, man. Yeah. I love that. You're not going to get stabbed yeah. this school year. I got faith. This nah. school year. I got faith, man. I love it. Good for you. Hell I yeah. I forgot who got stabbed. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Good times. Good times. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sports. Meh. Yay, sports. Sports Yo are fun. Sports. Yay. Yes. No, they're fun. It's fun to be there, but yes, I'm not going to sit is. at home and watch sports. Yes. I'll go to a bar and get drunk while people watch sports, but I'm not going to sit at home. I'll sit at home and get drunk while sports are on. Yes, of course but you will. <laughs> but I'm not going to watch sports. At home? By myself, no. Or pay attention. At all? No. Maybe if it was a baseball game, maybe. Baseball? Yeah, but going to a baseball game is just like going to the bar. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you're just you're just there to get oh, drunk anyway. Out. You're just hanging you know? out, huh? It's only worse because it's expensive. At the yeah, baseball. yeah, that's true. The yeah, God, how much were the drinks? What, nineteen LA? bucks? Mm, yeah, probably. I don't. I don't remember. You don't remember paying? I don't remember. I don't, God maybe, bless. Maybe I did. Maybe I yeah, did. Yeah, whatever. Didn't tomato, ask. tomato. Yeah, yeah it, dude, and actually, you know, but the tickets weren't expensive yeah, for the nights. They were not they that got, expensive. Man, they got this shit, Jones. They got this shit at T-Mobile now. Where you just like tap your card, and you just walk in and you just grab whatever you want. You walk out, they don't give you a receipt, nothing. They're just oh, great. Yeah, yeah. Good to know. know where is this place? Right? No, it was it was at the it was at uh, T Mobile. Where? Yeah, you don't have to like do anything now to buy shit. Oh, yeah. You I walk in, you swipe your card. It's like they have all your info, and then you just walk out, and it senses when you leave, oh, and God. it knows what you took. What if someone robbed me? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> what if you rob someone? <laughs> more, more to be than likely. Fair, to more be than fair, likely. what if you rob someone? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. You ever say you see anything like that down <laughs> there, like, Jones? I should, I should check my bank account. No. Right? Yeah, no shit. <laughs> but how would Sounds they like know? the Amazon like grocery store, which I'm a big fan of, but it's only like they only have two of them where you go in and whatever you put in the cart, it just senses and will charge you once you leave. You don't have to like it's a, the exact wait, same wait, thing. wait. There's See, an actual Amazon store? Like a grocery store, yeah. I think it's an Amazon. Well, Liz, but that's yeah, funny. I, I hate going to the grocery store because you grab the cart, you take yeah. everything off the shelf and put it in the cart. Then you got to take everything out of the cart, put it on the conveyor mm. belt, just put it back in the cart, just to, you know, All then right. take we it out. Of the it. Cart. You hate grocery cart. shopping. <laughs> I hate I it hate too. The grocery store. Jones I mean, loves to convenience. Way. Me too. I have a Jones delivery loves coming convenience. from tomorrow loves from it. 2 to 7 p.m. Of? Uh, yeah, grocery oh, this, groceries? Is the, this is the lowest. This is the lowest. Oh, groceries. Yeah, My God. This is the lowest that I've fallen. Um, Groceries. Groceries. <laughs> Not groceries. Jones, groceries. you get groceries at your house? Well, No, I go to the store. You go to the store, right? I'm the kind of guy I go to the store... On my days off, I go to the store every day. So I'll go yes. on Monday, I'll go on Tuesday, I'll go on Wednesday. Because oh it's like, I don't know yeah. what I want to eat. I don't. If I, I buy it. a bunch of food, I just You're going to waste away. it. Yeah, yeah. I get that. Mm. I'm the same way. I, I completely get well, that. Walmart Home and Plus Home or whatever they have charged me for the rest of the month. So I'm going to use What do you mean charge it? you for the rest of the month? So I, it's like I a pay, subscription? Yeah, yeah. It's like $17 a month. You pay $17 a month to for? Get, to get stuff delivered to my house. And so you don't have to go to Walmart? Yes. You get you I get the have to Walmart stand in stuff. Line. Yeah. Anything you want. I'll get a tomato and I'll get like nail clippers. You know, I'll get like a mascara. <laughs> I believe that was an actual order you no, had. No, no, no. I a did, tomato I did order, and nail clippers. I did order um Only Liz to put those two things in the same 1, sentence. 1,000%. A tomato and, and a toenail clipper. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, don't, I said, yeah. Whatever. Just the two first things that, that popped yeah. in. This is the first thing that popped in. I actually went around my house and I was like, what do I need? And then they bring it to you. 
And there's different aisles that you don't have to go to and talk to people and bump this into This can't people. be good. No, this can't be good for and us. The, the I best refuse part to is, get on board with this shit. And the shit. best part is, yeah, they deliver it to your house. And what they don't have, they'll mail it to you. The next, they'll mail it the to you. The next day as well. Yeah, so it's great. You get all of your stuff. You get like your frozen fruits and stuff if you want to make smoothies and stuff. So wait, you don't go to the store. Gosh. Did you get... Okay, you don't go to the store. Mm. What? I don't, so you don't you don't have to physically drive to the store in traffic. You don't have to bump into mm-hmm. people. You don't have to what hear do you crying mean bump into people. People always bumping into you. They're always touching you. People are always around you. <laughs> There's always a crying baby somewhere. Or Shut up. Jesus you know? You don't Christ. have to see any of this. You don't have to stand I've, in I've line. I've gone to the store a billion times. I've never been bumped. You've never <laughs> been bumped ba- into by anyone. By screaming children. You've, You've never, never been no over, one, to, no one's ever been, oh, oh, Excuse me. Not even at Costco? No, you're crazy. No, Liz, I can't Liz, crazy. Crazy. Liz, I feel like you're all these things. That's why I don't you're, go. To, I'm a menace to society. That's yes, why I don't go to these stores. You are a menace. I hate children too. Good lord. I've also, <laughs> never been yelled at in line <laughs> at a sporting event. Mall you know, it's so, it's so sad pissed. that I was in the middle of sending that picture to to me. Yes. Actually, you did. I I'm did pretty sure you, you did oh, send yeah. me that picture. And I was like, man, then, like right after I sent it, I was like, oh, forget it. I just got screamed at. There goes my joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but man. see, here's the thing. You got to go out in the world. You got to experience things. You got to see people. You got to smell things. I you gotta... do it already at work. I don't need any more social interaction than I have at work, man. Like, I'm so good. And then, And then I went to two games in less than a week. Yeah. And I was like, that's a lot of people, man. Yeah. That's a lot of people. Too much? Too much, man. Too, Too much. much. Too much. Get him away. Oh, good for you. Well, but you, know. you should try it. No, Walmart. I can't. No, I can't. I refuse. Call, hey, hey, call me old school. I'll still go through I'll a drive through old. <laughs> yeah, or just call me old. I will go to Walmart still. It's a lot, man. Yeah. Which one do you go to? It's sad. No, 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 no. no. I go to the Walmart the... on Rainbow. Yeah, yeah. And it is like no, that's it's a good barren. one. That's a no, good it's one. Barren. Oh, is it? <laughs> there's like it's that's... giant, and there's no one in there. That's why I like it. I would there's... go to that one. I like. I would go to that one. That's the only one I would go to. But all of these, they're they're too much. Jones, when's the last much. time you went to Walmart? Do you guys have Walmart out there? I was just thinking that I couldn't tell you. Joe, I, I and you know what? I legitimately believe you. Where do you shop? Although. Like, I just went into the Target on Oracle and they remodeled it. And dude, like they remodeled it and there's like a bunch of stuff that's like now locked up. Like laundry mm-hmm. detergent. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Bro, they toothpaste. Got, bro, pictures. Toothpaste is locked up. Like, is this pictures. stuff people are actually stealing? Yes. Yeah, I think so. No, seriously. It's like every aisle is just locked up. Yeah. And you have to press a button to talk yeah. to someone. We are slowly. We are slowly crawling into the abyss. But that's why you have a delivery. You don't have to Press a button yeah. in every aisle. We don't need to do this. We just go back to the old school way. Like if you shop up to get caught, you get the shit kicked out of but you. No one, you can't, you yeah. can't do it anymore. No one, no one does it anymore. People can't. You can't. You can't put your hands on people anymore. Yeah. Well, yeah. We got to loosen. We have to lock everything up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Loosen some of those restrictions. I think. Yeah. Well, yeah. But, yeah. but that's, how, that's what I'm saying. It's not gonna happen. It should. Yeah, I guess. You Security know? guards can get fired for like. Punching someone in the face now. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I get it. But isn't, if it's isn't that warranted. Your job, though? Yeah, isn't that yeah, if your it's job? warranted, come on, man. I you, people need there, people need to know they get no punched in the face. Remedy or medicine than getting your ass kicked. You got yeah. everybody should be in a fight once I'm, I before because you're yeah. never gonna do whatever you did well, ever again. Every like young dumbass. You get maybe not yes. smacked around, but yeah, kind of smacked around. Oh, you, know? you gotta get smacked around. It's yeah. good. Life you know? lesson. That's how you learn. You do. You're no, not. Okay you're not it. Superman. You're not untouchable. Yeah. Well, nowadays, everyone cares about your feelings and your well-being, your mental stability. So, yeah. Whatever. Whatever. Insert eye roll here. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. God bless. Yeah. yeah. That's well, what makes people strong, though. Just look at Frank. I made a fat joke, and he went to thinking he was too tall to get in the car. Just... <laughs> That's good. That's, That's good. Right. Look at that. He had to build himself up. That's right. Are race car drivers really <laughs> that short? <laughs> can't be that tall. <laughs> you yeah. son of a bitch. Ah, I love it. They don't usually come this buff, apparently. <laughs> All right, I'll take that. 
<sighs> it's all right. I didn't man. know Formula One racers were all five foot <laughs> something. <laughs> Something. Oh, it doesn't yeah. even give you the benefit of the He doesn't even want to finish the sentence. <laughs> right. Dirt bag. That's all right. Ah, oh, well, God bless. Uh yeah. Man. Well, speaking of Amazon uh grocery stores, you're talking about Amazon hospitals. Yeah, Amazon what the hell's going on care here? clinics, I think they'll be called. Or they are called. I didn't know it was a thing yet. I uh-huh. I looked into it. So I want no- Tell me more. So nine dollars a month, and then for prescriptions, I I don't know. It's going to be a, a a reasonable amount. So nine dollars a month, in um, and you <laughs> being a member of Prime or whatever, you get to have virtual conversations with a doctor, and they get to prescribe you things. And that's I'm already a Prime member. This sounds awesome. Yeah. So you just have to add nine dollars <laughs> to it. I know. I'm telling you, I'm. It's great. I just bo- I almost broke my shin, and I was like the first thing I thought about. I was like, oh, Jeff God Bezos is gonna build it. a hospital. No, around No, I me. literally th- I was like, man, how am I gonna fucking pay for this if I broke it? And I didn't want to let go of my fucking because I felt a lump, and I was like, please God, please God, don't bleed, please, please, please. I can't afford a lump this right in now. your leg. If Jeff yes. Bezos built a hospital, it'd be the most run well run hospital in the world. I <laughs> hope so. <laughs> yeah, and then I was like, man, I don't have insurance. I yeah. don't have insurance. And I saw that, like, I don't even know how it came across. And it was like $9 a month. But to get prescriptions, you do pay a certain amount, maybe $45 a month. Yeah. Which is still nothing. Comp- like, and you, I yeah, guess it's still it's, pretty cheap. Like, let's say you have a prescription of Adderall or whatever, $45 a month. Boom. That's great. Like, yeah. I think, you know, care provider. I mean, I guess. Amazon is, you know, taking for a run. Yeah. You know, I don't I think know. It's, I think it's good. For me. Yeah, it's good for people. Yeah. I mean, good for them. It's uh, Options are good. Yeah. I think options are good. You shouldn't always take them, though. Mm. That that yeah. That's a good thing. Yeah. I mean, options but like the, the, having Walmart tomatoes <laughs> delivered to your bedroom. No, uh, they do. They the do. Fingernail yeah, hold the fingernail on. Hold clippers. on. They do. They can actually open your door and go in. And like mm-hmm. drop it off in your and stack your fridge for you. I opted out of that because I don't like people <laughs> in my house. But they can. Like if they have your garage, they could go boop, 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 and you can tell them where to put it. It's great. Would you let no. someone deliver groceries no. into your home? No. Is there a line? That's a line. Don't come in my house. Is don't that even, it? Yeah, and don't even look at me. Just ring the doorbell. I literally, my instructions are no need to hand off. Please ring doorbell. Why? Thank you very much. No, no need to hand ring. off. No, thank you. No, no, I do. I say no need to hand off. <laughs> Please ring bell. Thank you. <laughs> That's my instructions. Oh, your thank on, yous in the message. In Uber and everything. Yeah, those oh, are my wow. thank yous. Yeah. Okay. But I do, the other Walmart people, I do tip them. These, no, it says no tip. I don't tip the people that don't get tipped or something. I don't know. They it, says no, it says you cannot tip? No, Yeah. Really? So, yeah, it's weird. It's like their in-home delivery system. I don't know. I just do whatever's cheaper and more <laughs> beneficial to my laziness. Wow. Yeah, Jones, you tip in your, your Walmart uh, delivery guy? You have to. Apparently you well, don't. Again, I, I, I just have stuff left at the door. I mean, if it's an option on the app, yeah. Yeah. You know, or dash drivers. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I don't get stuff delivered like that. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I would tip if I did. Yeah, you tip. Out of okay. guilt. Frank, you tip. Frank, have you had a pizza delivered? <sighs> That's an exception. Besides me. And oh, I, and, no, oh. and I always shake that man's hand. <laughs> yes, I will always shake that man's hand. Thank yeah. you, Mario. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. And his brother. <laughs> That's right. I will always look that man in the yeah. eye. Um, yeah, no, you're supposed to tip. I yeah, you got a tip on that. Bro, I yeah. tip a Subway. Yeah, me too. You know what I'm saying? I do, like, I do. If I'm watching you make my food, I, I, got, I, I, do I feel tip obligated. I do. I tip out my um, liquor store people. God bless. Only because they have a little thing that says tips, and then yeah. it's like, I'm buying a bottle. I'm I feel sick, like you know? if someone's doing something that you know you can do, you you should tip for that. I feel like that's the rule. Maybe I just made that rule All up. Right, Jones, come. did I just make that rule? <laughs> yes. If, I'm trying if, to process what you just said. Here's the thing. If somebody, what you just said. Here's the thing. If somebody's doing something for you that you know you can do yourself, I feel like you tip on that. 
Okay. Well, no, because that's pretty much the exact opposite thing that Dwight said from the office. And I, I was like, mm. wait, what did you just say? Yeah. No, I think I'm Why right about this. Why would I tip this? someone if I could just do it myself? Because you're too damn lazy. <laughs> exactly. It's a fucking exactly. lazy tax. Exactly. Tipping is a lazy tax. Here's the yes. thing. You could sit at home and drink if you want, right? But you go out. Yes. And they make and you, you drinks. People, yeah. And they serve them to you. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So that I get. Yeah. Right. Also, I get. Like, I could. Someone makes me a coffee. I tip a dollar. Yeah. yeah. The guy at Subway. He's making me a sandwich. I don't eat at Subway. I almost love him. I don't eat at Subway. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. He's an shop, artist. Get my 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 tires filled. I'll give the guy like five or ten yeah. bucks. There you go. Yeah. It's not that you can't do it. You're almost tipping for the time and the effort. Yeah. Right. Well, honestly, I do that because every single stupid freaking oh, air machine Jesus. at every single stupid yeah. gas station is broke. So oh, I, is, oh here's work. the thing: if I if I owned a, a a tire shop, I would just go around busting every single one of those at, <laughs> at every Circle K. It's free at the tire shop. That's why I tip though. Uh, yeah, oh, but that's what okay, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They know they yeah, got air. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Another thing, you know, um, my car died <laughs> and I needed like to, a, a jump. A, yeah. You were driving. I had to. Oh, good yeah, God. God help um, us all when that and happens. And then I went to um, AutoZone and yeah. they lent me a battery. Yeah. No, they lent me their oh, like, the jumper cables. Yeah. Not Wait. The, the whole little machine. It's what like did they lend you? It's like a little machine. Wow. Like, it's powerful. It's pretty powerful. Right? And then I was like, that's really nice of them. Of course I tipped them. There you go. You know, I came back with it, and I was like, thank you so much. Yeah. They just gave it. They said, here, what if I never brought it back? Karma. Yeah. Well, that's... There you go. <laughs> like, yeah, but that's nice. Yeah, you tip them. See? That's why you should talk to people more. Nah. Yes. <laughs> nah. Yeah. To pay them more? Yes. <laughs> get, you out them of, more? get you out of your cave more. Nah. Yes. Nah. I'm, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm about that. And then you see me at the bar. Woo! Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, Ooh. cheapest lady ever till <laughs> you know <laughs> until it's a uh, tipping time. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Uh, but yeah. Get on that Amazon Care. Let's let's do a little research and try to get Amazon on that. Care. Oh man, I'm about it. Go Jeff Bezos. Mm. I ain't mad at that. Well, you are his biggest fan though, so yeah, I am his biggest he, fan. I know that. I'm gonna get you a T-shirt for Christmas. So that means you know what I want for Christmas in return. What that, a, that sounded creepy. Uh, Jeff Bezos T-shirt. Yeah, I'm gonna get him one. All right. Well, what is what does that mean? You want? No, I don't know. I just said it not to be creepy. I said it because he was previously he said, "Oh, I know what you want for like everybody. He knows what everybody wants for Christmas, and they're not getting it anyway." Oh my god. Thank Whatever. you. Whatever. I'm just gonna get a bald cap All and right. dress like him. Yes. Done. <laughs> Oh man, Veterans Day! Shout out, shout out to all those, shout out to my brother, that little, oh, yeah. that little bag of work, the goddamn American hero, goddamn there war hero. Uh, yeah. Man, strip club, Crazy Horse Three, giving out uh, uh, free lap dances. I'm not mad at that. That's cool. That's probably the best one I've heard. You know, free pancakes, free lap dance. God bless. Good for them. I ain't mad. Yeah. Hopefully they tipped. Hopefully they tipped. There you go. Yes. Right. How much you tip on a lap dance, Jones? Dude, I was just thinking when the last time I was even at a strip club. I gotta yeah, say it's, it's, it's been a minute. <laughs> okay, how long is an average lap dance? That's uh, a song. All right. So it's like three to four minutes. <laughs> All right. And how much is it? How much is a lap dance? Uh, I mean, I guess it depends. The average song is like two minutes, Frank. Three or four minutes. That's a long time. Is he it? chooses the longest song yeah, possible. Yeah, right? Yeah, After so. a while, you just kind of like get off. <laughs> not going anywhere, anything fast. Yeah. Uh, so like how... how I, I mean, they used to, to be like 20 over. bucks. 20 bucks a lap dance? I feel like it's more now, though. Am I wrong? 20 bucks a lap dance. I don't know, because we would go to Sapphire... For what was it, Monday Night Football? Yeah, and those are their, dollar like, dances. Dollar a dollar a minute. Right, how, much do you, how much do you tip a dollar a minute? A dollar a minute? Yeah. No, nah, you tip like, you give them like five bucks or ten bucks. Really? Yeah. I, I was like, here's ten bucks. Yeah. But Damn. usually I was like, here, see Somebody that ball their, dance on them. Here's the thing. They have their whole asshole in your face. Yeah. Like their asshole. But to a certain point, I feel like I should get tips for that. <laughs> God bless. God bless. You would think. 
<laughs> no, uh, see, I don't know. But you tip mad fat. So you're just not going to tip uh, this girl mad fat and she's grinding all over you, gr like touching you? No, but that's what I'm saying. You do tip heavy. Yeah, but $5 a lap dance isn't a lot. For a minute? When it's a dollar? It's you're still, tipping 500%. She's dancing on you for money. That's so sick. Like that's her job. And so how much to... should you tip? You're getting for... called out, Frank. You're getting called the f okay, out. I, I mean, I guess if it's if it's, it's a dollar lap dance, and I... you and you tip five on top of it. Is I don't that know. Bad? I... What do you no, think no, no. it should I be? A hundred? I mean, no, no, no. I get okay, it. Five dollars. Liz, Liz, that dollar lap dance isn't even a minute. Like it's like yeah, 30 it's seconds. it's like forty seconds. All right, I guess ten dollars so, is Frank's okay. Benefit. Ten dollars is so okay. Basically, would you mind getting? It's you're making five dollars every thirty seconds. From Frank, which isn't that bad. <laughs> yeah, no, that's great. But I'm, I'm a I'm great. Not, stage. Would you do it? Would you? Guys and I do never it? stand up, for Frank. Would you do it? <laughs> Thank you, Jones. <laughs> I, mean, I feel like ten dollars is okay because what I I could to. never be serious enough to be a stripper. Yeah, but would you do it? If you like, let's say. The, all, I dance for free all the time. Yeah, but on somebody yeah. half naked, and they're probably sweating and have an erection, and you're just like grinding on them. Well, no, that's why they're usually drunk and fucking stoned. I know. Well, I didn't want to yeah, go there. I didn't want to go there. I didn't yeah, want to go course. there with it. Yeah, it but, is what it is. You know, yeah. I don't know. I think $10 is okay because yeah. they have I'm to. I'm not saying I wouldn't tip. I'm not saying I haven't. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah, I get I it. Like, and, and I also get the $5. You're getting $6 for 30 seconds. I get it. Too. Yeah. But I don't know, man. And let's just the thing. Frank actually looks like a great guy because most of the scumbags in there are just giving them a dollar. Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. <sighs> Yeah, most are just like, yeah, here's two bucks. Uh, here's no, three and, bucks, you I, know? Uh, I know. I just, ugh, I don't know. Yeah, I get it. I, yeah, I can never. I can never. You would also give the world's worst lap dance, probably. Are you kidding me? Of course you, I would. Yeah, you would be like, like hey, boys. <laughs> From here. Hey, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I am you would start popping locking <laughs> you would bust out <laughs> cardboard i do that for free at work <laughs> yeah, that's what i'm <laughs> saying second yeah. of all i don't know man it's weird it's weird nah, I'm scared it. of, i am scared of strippers though they're like scared of them yeah what like, scares you about strippers everything like they're they're them being there and touching me scares me because I'm like, oh god, you just so, don't want people touching you. Yeah, you're you. gross, and you've been on so many people already. Yeah, they're not gross. They're so usually hot. It's like a but yeah, but like a bunch of sweat is on you that's not even yours. It's everybody's collective, and it's gonna be on me. Don't touch me, please. I'll dance yeah, for me. So you're like, germaphobe. No, no, a no, little bit. Just just dance for me here. It's okay. All right. Do you don't have to touch me? I don't have to touch. I get you. it. We're good. Yeah, right? but strippers like when girls yeah, go in. But they like they want someone who smells good and you know. I mean, no, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it's Whatever. not your thing. Yeah, and then I know lots of girls. And that then love yeah, the strip and then I've, I've I've I used to work next to sapphires. And oh yeah, yeah. A lot of them would just come in, just a bunch of mess. It's like they'd come in at eight in the morning, just crying and like on every. And I'm just like, oh man. man. And they're so oh, beautiful. That's rough. They're so beautiful. They're so gorgeous. They drive great cars, and I'm yeah. like, man, this that's rough. Sucks. Like you just really don't. And then there's other ones that love their life and that don't that you know know how to financially invest and do all these wonderful things too. Yeah. But I just think in general, I'm scared of them. Like they scare me. Well, all right. Another reason to stay to, inside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to get attacked. Scared, yeah. Don't want to get attacked like like I get attacked when I walk in. Of the course, strip club. of course. You know, they're like, "Oh God, fresh meat." <laughs> yeah, they, they go, "Oh, hey, Frank, we'll be right with you." Oh <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, we'll be right there. <laughs> the usual. <laughs> yeah, the usual uh, Coors Light, sir. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, what are you gonna do? God, man. All right, I feel like you know. Sometimes it's like crazy here, right? Then you read like a headline from like another country. You're like, oh man, yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of fucked up everywhere. There's a dude, right? Italian man. Mm -hmm. Weighs 400 plus. It's like 440 pounds, right? Mm -hmm. He convicted of killing his girlfriend. Sorry to get morbid. <laughs> that went. For over like crumbs in the bed or some, like some bullshit like that, right? And they let him out of prison after like a year because they said the the food in there was killing him. Oh no! Yeah, like what? The food. What are we was doing? Him. What are we doing? What do you think, Jones? What do you think? Let's get like 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Was the food killing him because he was eating, eating too much of it? I don't know. And he was like on the brink of a heart attack every morning when he opened his eyes. Well, I think if you weigh 400 plus, you're always on the brink of a heart attack. <laughs> That's true. Unless so, you're like Shaq. So does that mean any food is going to kill you? Like, Maybe. what does this mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, all, all right. Like, are you tough too shit? Fat? Yeah. Are you like tough shit? Am I wrong? Stan Joe. Hey, no, Jones, what do you think? The, right? Are you, you just going to eat your way out of jail? Food's killing me. You got to let me out. Okay. <laughs> and they're like, all right, fine. <laughs> Get him some pasta. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I don't know, man. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's uh, nah, you stay that's a jail. wonky, right? You stay in jail. How do how we all. let people in charge of shit like this? You know what I'm saying? Nah, get, get, like, what the hell's going on I'm here? I'm like, sir, roll back to your cage. Yes, roll him back in. Yeah, just roll, roll him back, back in. in the cage. And, how about this? How about we stop feeding him then? And then it won't kill him anymore. If Done. I that's don't Done. let me, don't let me in charge. Give him a uh, like a stack of celery, like just like yes. a pile of celery, and put it in the I'll furthest corner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. maybe apple. as a treat. Yeah, and then just put it in the furthest corner away from him, and then just let him wow. roll to it every day. That's it. That's, that's all he's getting. Wow, you're not like even, the executioner. Not even water. You're like the executioner. Yeah. No, you got to give him water. Why? There's so, there's a bunch of water and celery sticks. He'll be fine. Okay. Is that the diet? That's it. Celery yeah. stick diet? Yes, and an apple. And an apple. As a treat for being it, a good ball of lard. It would work. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> wow. All right. All right. God, mm -hmm. it, have you, uh, you guys heard of Adam 22? Oh, God. He's a guy, everybody, everybody busts his balls. Because Wife it, got banged yes. out by some dude. Mm -hmm. Well, now yes. they're doing a reality show. And the winner gets to bang his wife. Yeah. What are we doing? First of all, she has a name. Her name is Lena the Plug. Yes. Thank you very Lena much. Lena the Plug or Lena the Plug. Yes. Yeah, yeah, for like the that. love of Lena. Yeah. The the prize is the winner gets a threesome with the couple. Ten I'm, people competing. Here's the thing. They're, they sleep around. I wouldn't go. I just wanted to watch. <laughs> he already did. She did a porno with some guy recently. Like, I'm going to yeah. say maybe two months ago. And yeah, that's, he just watched it, and and that's the prize. That was it. That's a little weird, right? It, I mean, that's I guess if they're porn okay, stars, well, they're right? doing it for money. It'd be like, hey, Liz, let's say we're married, and you just sleep with a bunch of guys, and I look like a fool, but we're both going to make millions. Why are we together? I'll make my millions by myself. I don't need to be married and committed to somebody to sleep around. I guess. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's you a know little weird. I mean? It makes no sense. I mean, that's a game show now. That's a game show. Price is Right is done. <laughs> Price is Right is over. Bang my old lady on next. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, that's terrible, man. <laughs> that's terrible. He's a fool. I mean, I get, you know. One step close to the idiocracy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, I love that this is a game show. Financially, though, he is, they are winning. I'm like, they're, the yeah. people, like, you had to buy that porno or something. And a lot of people did just to make fun of it. Just to, you yeah. know, they, they're still making their money. They're still, like, I don't know what their assets are or yeah. if they're combined or not, but they're still making their money. And he had a whole bunch of people who didn't even know his name all of a sudden. Hey, you know knows his him name. Now. You know, he's hey, like part yeah. of the hip-hop community. He likes to exploit um, people in, in the hip-hop community. And, like, that was a huge thing. He, he had a negative, well, not that it's any better, but whatever. Like a negative rep? Yeah. Like, I don't really know him, to be yeah, honest. You don't need to. All right. You don't wow. Need to. All right. But, yeah, that's a little weird, though. That's a, the, you should have signed up, my friend. Game show. You're, you should have yeah, signed up. Yeah, I should have been where, a contestant. Where do, yeah, where do we get these I can't things? be a... I'm a race car driver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, yeah. you, you're both choosing? Like, are you choosing... Is it a physical... Act, I mean, like, yeah, physical you know, people are going to be into Dude, what they're it's, into, it's I guess. Just, now, mind that's you. how they're making their money. It's like I, me trying to explain to people that reality TV show isn't reality. It's all scripted. Yeah. It's just... Make money, but I love I love trashy TV. Um, yes, you do. Well, yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. like this is your show. Will I be watching it? Of course you will. Yes, if I have to pay for it, no. We're gonna, you know, pay for I'll, the show. Yeah, like yeah, if it's on it. a channel I don't have, I'm not watching it. Yeah, that's fair. You know, if but if you do have it, you're watching. I don't know if I'm watching the whole show, but I'm watching clips. Yeah, yeah, I'm watching like the initial auditions and the ending. Okay, well, I mean, mm -hmm. there was a show where multiple. Multiple seasons, the prize was 
Flavor Flav. And I love that. Maybe we peaked there. <laughs> I think I think that was it. I love we peaked there. Was that the first show? Like, no, it was a Bachelor, right? I don't know. I feel like Flavor Flav came first. It's he came first in my of world. Love. Flavor of love. Do you even do you even reality TV? <laughs> I don't. Jeez. God, Jones, what's your favorite? You have a favorite reality TV show? No, Frank, I don't. <laughs> no. All right, that's fair. What? That's fair. What's your favorite? Did- when I so knew reality TV show where the joke was when Jessica Simpson on the newlyweds was like the chicken of the chicken season. Or, and like, yeah. All scripted. Of course and it's everyone's scripted. Everyone's like, she's so dumb. I'm like, of course it's, it's scripted. scripted. Yeah. It's got to be. Uh, Every I, I single just, show is scripted. I, don't know, I still like it, though. I don't know how someone could have a camera in their face at all times and like someone standing there in your conscience. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just weird. That's weird yeah. to me. And then like, you have like... Far- a- and then you have like one. Yeah. You always call the Mally. It's like, yeah, no, dude, I'm good. I, I don't need to look like an idiot while John Taffer yells at me and then tells yeah. me all I need to do is smear it off in my bar to make it better. Yeah, no yeah. thanks. Yeah. Wait, he wanted to do yeah, it? I, I met John. He was a nice guy. Yeah, well, I mean, they, they'll come to, they'll call like several bars in Tucson. They always like email us like, hey, like, are you interested? <laughs> no. <laughs> that would be interested. great. Actually, I would yeah. love that. I would love to see that. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't love it for you, but you know, <laughs> that would be great. Did you know what I just thought of that would make the NFL and actually any sport a million dollars, like a million times better? Go for it. Frank, tell me if you agree with this. Okay. The NFL offers a package where you can purchase it and you get every player is mic'd up and you just get to listen to what everyone is saying to each other. Oh, they couldn't. Would that not you make couldn't. it the most amazing sport ever? No, you couldn't. You couldn't do they it. They don't. Well, you'd, you'd have to like, you'd choose. have to, you could. Have to obviously choose. know that things are going to be said, but dude, it'd be yeah. amazing. It'd be better than any reality. Oh, TV people show. love mic'd up football mm. players. Yeah. People yeah, love well, it. In any sport, any sport, any sport, any sport. Imagine yeah. hockey, you see them chirping each other and you got to hear the whole thing. Oh yeah. It'd be great. But they, but then again, you couldn't do it. You couldn't. It would have to be completely. Yeah, because we live in this fake society where we have to pretend everyone loves each other. It's exactly. Like, oh, dude, just let it out. Like, no, who cares? It's, it's not even that they love each other, but it's just in like, the NFL. You just sleep out the 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 hard the hard R. You beep out. You know. Oh wow, Jones, you go straight to the hard R, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, yeah, that, but no, but that is a big thing, especially like in football. Um, um, but think uh, about yeah, people talk that. shit. Imagine yeah. you see two players getting into it, and you can yeah. just hear every single word they say to yeah. each other. Yeah, amazing. The the, pro- the pro- the problem is people know when they're being recorded, which is the yeah, best and worst part. Yeah, yeah. But that's the thing. You, when in the NFL, like when you're, yeah, you're no just one's thinking about it. Yeah, no thinking about it. You're not thinking about your game. You're not thinking. Well, about it. You're in the heat of the moment. I, yeah. I you just got blindsided. No, it, you don't it, get it. Here's the thing, though. Yes, yeah, are some, you farting? Or are you moving your chair? What is that? Who me? me? Yeah, or Liz. This? Who are you talking to, Liz? I just keep hearing like a fart noise. No. That's it's you. just a bullshit in your head. <laughs> this is the greatest no, idea ever. No, it ain't no. Here's the here's the thing. I mean, yes, you're you're not wrong, but when you go through the process of someone coming in saying, "Hey, we're with NFL Films, and here's this microphone, and we're going to start recording at this time," and it, you're that's you're you can't get that out of your head, and you're going to feel it. You're going to have the microphone on you, so it's not like you're going to completely Dude, forget about point. it. You can't. It's too big no, of a process. No. If it was just no, part of your no. uniform, there was that kid that he was just mic'd up, and then he was like, yeah. "Why? Why is that? Why are you?" He, 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 he yeah. He asked this guy, like a referee, he was like, "Why did you?" Or so, like someone filmed. Him, he was like, "Why do you yeah. keep following me, man?" And he was like, "Oh, because you're mic'd up." And he was like, "Oh yeah." And he totally yeah, forgot yeah, that yeah. he's mic'd up. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah. Like, it happens. Like you don't. Yeah, I'm not saying there wouldn't be instances where you forget, but mm-hmm. the whole time it's like as I, a whole. I, yeah, yeah, you're not gonna not. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You're not going to not. Like, somebody could be filming you 24-7. There'll be a time where you forget you're being recorded. But then it's gonna something's going to... be pure gold. Yeah. It'd be pure gold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then then you're going to be like, oh, yeah, shit. Wait, mm. maybe I should close the door when and I then, wipe my ass. And then, and then everybody's canceled? Yes. Well, no, that's the thing. If people... If you, if you just stop giving a shit, you'd be fine. Okay. You know? Yeah. But, it's yeah. just work. Yeah, what are you gonna do? It'd Words hurt. Amazing. Words hurt. It would just be so amazing. Words hurt now. <laughs> Sticks and stones. 
Ah, uh, well, all right, boys. I and would girls. pay two hundred dollars per football season. Oh, for yes, season? Corn, oh, easily. That would be easy, easy money for a season. Yeah, I don't hate that. May, hey, I'll talk to Roger Goodell when the Super Bowls <laughs> here. In dude, more, dude, more than anything, I'd like the NHL. Like, dude, they chirp each other. It's just hilarious stuff. Like, I'd love to hear it. Yeah, but they're nice guys. They're no, nice dude, guys. They get, there's some good chirping be, back. The, if I could go for one sport, it, I think the most shit talking would probably be NBA and baseball because they're the least mm. physical. You know what I'm saying? So they're going to talk I more. They, they, they got some hot mics. It's pretty chirp, chirping in the NHL. I'd take over anything else. But like uh, I have Monday Night Football and they just had two guys going out. I'm like, dude, I'd give anything. Nah, to what's, I, what they're, I think I would that. take, I think. The best trash talkers in sports are NBA trash talkers. I think I think I'm right about that. I think I am. We'll figure it out. A topic for another day. Uh well, all right. Let's uh God man. It's it's time. We gotta get out of here. I got I feel like I gotta get back to work already. It's hell. Uh you start God, driving Joe, right now. Yeah, exactly. I'm just gonna start driving. Yeah. Jones, what uh what do you got going on this week? Nothing. Nothing. Got nothing. I love it. <laughs> Liz, what do you got? Not a damn thing. Not a damn thing. You're lucky even, I even made it out of even bed today. better. God bless. Well, one of Liz's boys is going to be here next week. A little special guest. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Zaza. 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 For especially apparently yeah. a famous Fremont uh, TikToker. I don't, know, TikToker. I don't know if they like to be called TikTokers. I don't know. Inf- influencers? Do we call them influencers? I think so. All right, well, yeah. we're going to find out. We're going to we'll talk see. to them yeah, next week. We'll, we'll see that. Well, all right. Yeah. All right. That's if I live. That. That's if I make it through this week without uh-huh. jumping, without setting myself on fire and just jumping on <laughs> in, this in damn traffic. track. And then the traffic. Oh, I'm going to wait until the race starts. <laughs> okay. I was like, because the traffic ain't moving, man. Yeah. You're stuck there. But uh, all right, boys and girls, level nine, Jones, Liz, let's get the hell out of here. All right. Let it run. Thanks for listening to the pre-shift podcast. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you next week for another pre-shift.